Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we move to present-day Columbia County, Ohio for the capture of Confederate John Hunt Morgan and his raiders at the Battle of Slainville on July 26, 1863. The attacking Union force was commanded by Union Brigadier General James M. Shackelford, who was a lawyer and had served during the Mexican-American War. Shackelford led a mixed command of cavalry, artillery, and mounted infantry from soldiers originating in Kentucky, Tennessee, Michigan, Ohio, and West Virginia that totaled about 2,600 men. Trying vainly to escape his men was Confederate Brigadier General John Hunt Morgan and his Morgan's Raiders, comprised of the remaining 364 Confederate cavalry that had not been separated, captured, or killed. Morgan had been leading his men on the longest grade in the shortest amount of time, moving more than 700 miles in 25 days. Today's victory goes to Brigadier General James M. Shackelford and his Union troops. Union General Shackelford had been relentlessly pursuing General Morgan's raiders and eventually had his opportunity when Morgan had finally gotten flanked. Shackelford was able to flank Morgan on July 26 at Slensville, not far from Lisbon, Ohio. Morgan realized he was severely outnumbered and attempted to break through the encirclement. The firefight was a mistake though, and after an hour or more of fighting, losing most of the Confederate troops, he did find himself clear and Morgan kept riding. Unfortunately, they came across Major George W. Rue and his 9th Kentucky Cavalry outside of West Point, Ohio. Realizing that more running was useless, General Morgan turned to one of his quote-unquote Union soldiers he was said to have captured and surrendered. This captured soldier was a captain from Ohio militia named Burbridge. Burbridge immediately paroled Morgan and his officers, giving permission for the Confederate commander and his officers to return to Kentucky. However, Major Rue, who had witnessed this, came over and denied the parole of Morgan, insisting on Morgan surrendering officially, at which point Union soldiers then took General Morgan into custody and delivered him to Columbus, Ohio, where Morgan was imprisoned in the Ohio Penitentiary, while the rest of his men were sent to Camp Chase and other northern prisoner of war camps. In August of 1863, Ohio Governor David Todd, hearing the complaints that Morgan wasn't paroled like he should have been, conducted an investigation. He found that Captain Burbridge, that claimed to be a Union prisoner, was in fact at James Burbick, a private citizen from New Lisbon, Ohio, who had never served as an officer in Ohio militia. As such, Todd ruled that Burbick was unable to accept Morgan's surrender, and no Morgan's subsequent surrender to Rue would stand. It should be noted that in November of 1863, Morgan would escape prison and would continue raiding until he was killed at Greensville, Tennessee on September of 1864. The Union suffered no casualties during the capture of Morgan, and the Confederates suffered 100% losses, with 23 killed and the remainder being wounded and or captured. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.